What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18.0.1 just a couple of weeks after the release of iOS 18. Now along with this update, we also got iPadOS 18.0.1, including for the M4 iPad Pro, we got WatchOS 11.1, MacOS 15.0.1, and VisionOS 2.0.1. So in this video, we're going to focus primarily on iOS and iPadOS 18.0.1, but I will also touch on the fixes in watchOS 11.0.1 and macOS 15.0.1. But anyway, you can see the size here for this update on my iPhone 16. It came in just under 500 megabytes. And that was coming from iOS 18.0. Of course, if you're on 18.1 beta, you're not going to get this update because you're on 0.1. You're not on 18.0 like this. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update. So we we'll get into our settings and go to general and then to about. And then right here, 18.0.1, the new build is 22A3370. And if we go back and check out the modem firmware version, that remains the same at 1.00.00 for the 16 series. Okay, so now what's new here in iOS 18.0.1? And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that a double point update, like a 0.0.1, that means that it's only going to be bug fixes and enhancements, no new features. So we're going to see the new features in these single point updates like 18.1, for example, which should be coming later this month. So with that in mind, let's talk about what's been fixed here because iOS 18 has been quite buggy. So the first thing that's been fixed is the touch responsiveness bug. So Apple says here, touch screen may be temporarily unresponsive in certain circumstances on iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this has been happening on all devices, not just the 16 and 16 Pro. So Apple did call those out, maybe because it has been more prevalent on those devices, but I've seen several reports from a lot of viewers that have said they've had touch responsive issues on 18.0 and they were not on an iPhone 16. So I would assume that this update will fix it for all devices, not just the 16s. And this bug was extremely annoying. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, that's where sometimes if you press on your screen, the touch does not register. So for me, it happened ever since I got my 16 Pro Max. So I know it's not really related directly to the 16s, but it only happened to me after getting the 16 Pro Max. But what happens is I would try to touch the emoji icon and it would not register. Or sometimes I would try to touch on the number pad right here to pull up the numbers and it would not register or the space bar. For me, it was always near the bottom of the screen. Some of my touches just would not register and it would drive me crazy. So for some people, it was at the top. For me, it was at the bottom. So that has been fixed here with 18.0.1. And while we're in the messages app, I may as well talk about about the next fix and this is related to iMessage. So in 18.0, if you shared an Apple watch face, it would cause the messages application to crash. And this bug was triggered when somebody replied to a shared watch face in a thread on messages. So for example, if I were to send somebody a watch face that I configured in my watch application and I sent that to them and they went to reply to it, it would crash both the recipient and my messages application. It would crash repeatedly until I had deleted the conversation. I would have to delete the conversation basically to fix that. So thankfully that has been fixed here on iOS 18.0.1 along with every other software. So this bug impacted not just iOS, but also iPadOS, watchOS, macOS, and visionOS. So that bug affected all of the devices, all the software, and it has been fixed across the board. Now here's another fix that I've seen some people report as well on the 16 Pros specifically. So the camera may freeze when recording macro mode video on the ultra wide camera. So at 0.5 X in 4k with HDR turned off on the 16 Pro models. So if you had issues with the camera freezing while recording a video, that could be fixed for you. That was not impacting me on any of my 16 Pros, but I know some of you guys have reached out and told me that was impacting you. So thankfully that has been fixed as well. And then here's a good one for all devices, not just the iPhone 16s. Apple says that performance may have been impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone models. So if you had any type of performance issues, those could be resolved here with 18.0. 
0.1, which is always good to see when Apple mentions anything about performance improving, that's always a good sign. That's like the second best thing behind battery life improvements being mentioned by Apple in the release notes. Apple did also mention security updates for this update and all the other updates as well. So I would expect to see some security notes get published soon. Now I did also want to mention for iPad OS 18.0.1, this is going to be the first update for that device on iOS 18. So if you don't know, if you're not aware, the iPad Pro was getting bricked on 18.0 with that update. So Apple pulled the iOS 18.0 updates and they never released an official iOS 18 software update for those on the M4 iPad Pro until today. So you can now install iPadOS 18.0.1 without bricking your M4 iPad Pro. Now, before we get into the performance and the battery life about 18.0.1, I do just wanna quickly point out the watchOS and macOS fixes as well, because I feel like these are pretty important. So for watchOS, you can see here, we have a pretty important and fix here. So it says Apple Watch may unexpectedly restart for some users. And then the music app may unexpectedly quit when loading media. Battery may drain more quickly than expected. So if you have an Apple Watch on watchOS 11, your battery life should improve from watchOS 11.0.1. And then here's an even bigger fix. Touchscreen may be temporarily unresponsive for some Apple Watch Series 9, Series 10, and Ultra 2 users. And then of course the messages bug has been patched as well. But uh, multiples of these are pretty massive updates. I mean, if you had any of those issues that could really crush your experience on watchOS 11. So you need to update to watchOS 11.0.1 ASAP. And then for macOS 15.0.1, we have a fix for VPNs and firewalls. So Apple says that this improves compatibility with third party security software. And I just wanted to mention those because I feel like those are pretty important fixes that you need to be aware of. So anyways, we do also want to talk about the performance here on 18.0.1. I would actually expect some performance improvements here with 18.0.1. Like we don't typically see performance improvements with a double point update, but since Apple specifically mentioned that performance could be improved here in the release notes, I would expect to see performance improved across the board on all devices. So as far as the Geekbench scores, I did run a Geekbench 6 test here, and you can see we scored a 33-38 on the multi-core and an 81-32 on the multi-core. And then when it comes to battery life, I would also expect battery life to improve here with 18.0.1. And the reason being is for the same reason that we might see performance improve because Apple mentioned that performance may be impacted due to an issue with memory allocation. That memory allocation could be a battery drainer. So if that was happening on your device, if your performance was being impacted by that bug, that could have been draining your battery life as well, which means that you should have better battery life here on 18.0.1. So overall, this update looks like a must update. Like if you're on iOS 18, I think 18.0.1 is an essential update that you need to go ahead and install on your device as soon as possible. Not only because of the bug fixes like the touch responsive bug and the messages bug, but also the performance enhancements, the potential battery life enhancements, and also security patches. Like we don't know exactly what Apple has published yet in terms of you know what's actually been fixed security wise, but for everything else, like it's a no brainer to go ahead and update to 18.0.1 as soon as you can. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So the next major release from Apple is going to be iOS 18.0. 18.1, which is coming later this month in October with Apple Intelligence and several other new features. That will be a massive update, especially for the iPhone 16 series who have been waiting on Apple Intelligence since they got their device. So we should be seeing 18.1 later this month. And I would expect 18.1 to come in the second half of October, not the first half. Now, in the meantime, we could see an 18.0.2 at any time in between now and 18.0.2. 18.1 getting released. It is not a guarantee, but if Apple finds any major bugs or security vulnerabilities, they could push out an update before that 18.1 updates. But you guys know, if you keep it locked to my channel, you won't have to worry about when the next software update is coming. I will let you know here on the channel. And that's what you subscribe for. And if you're not subscribed for some reason, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, that is an update on 18.0.1, a pretty important bug fix update that I think all users should go ahead and download ASAP. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS 18 and iPhone 16 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.